Okay, Andre, how can authentication be a nifty tool and not an obstacle? Well, there's, there's, there's one big problem with authentication and there's one uh, big advantage with authentication. The one thing you want to avoid with authentication is to have such a high friction with it that the user sees it as a hassle. But the user still needs to feel that it's secure and it's, there's trust built into it. Exactly, and I think that's a key point here because using authentication to build user trust in your application is a really important mechanism here because this is where you actually let the user know that you care about the security, you care about the security of his data. So that means that when I'm logging on, for example, to my mobile banking app, uh, it's important that I feel it's secure, but it shouldn't be an obstacle. So if authentication can provide both of those things, then... Then you can kind of get that trust in the application, exactly. but without reducing the, the, the interaction of the user, because you, you want the user engagement, you want the user to pick up his device, log into your app as often as possible, but at the same time, and from that standpoint, you want to kind of reduce friction as much as possible, but at the same time, you want him to understand that this isn't just any random application is downloaded. This actually has a security mechanism. You take care of his data, you take care of his, if it's a bank app, you're protecting his moment. Yeah. So this isn't something that, in, in that setting, you need to be able to show him that nobody else could have picked up and start initiating this transaction. You need to build the trust there, but it needs to be so frictionless that he is still engaged as much as possible. And we actually can see that with Signicat Mobile ID. We can see that we're almost getting the same frequency of uh, engagement used as social media apps, and that's just because of this. Yeah. What are the components of an irresistible mobile app? I would say an irresistible mobile app has a sort of like appeal. It has to make me want to use it. It shouldn't uh, provide an obstacle. So for example, in a mobile banking app, authentication cannot be an obstacle like we talked on, talk about before. Uh, so it should sort of like provide uh, trust and, and, and a frictionless authentication, at least from my point of view. Yeah, I agree there, but kind of another, another really important component is that the, the mobile app has something that provides value to me as an end user. It has to be something I see as valuable. Or it might be as frictionless, completely frictionless, I wouldn't engage with it anywhere. There, there is a content or data that you need or want exactly. to access. access and that yeah. value doesn't really have to be that big, but if you just look at my banking app, once they added kind of the, the stock mechanism to it, I started using it much more because it was fairly frictionless. Yeah, yeah. Logging in was really simple, but I wasn't that in, I wasn't going before, I wasn't going into the my kind of transaction history every day. But once kind of my savings got in there, it got much, much more interesting. And it's like, you know, when it's salary day, yeah. uh, you're going in and looking, has the salary arrived, has the salary arrived, and authentication cannot be an obstacle at that time. Exactly. Yeah. And kind of, the, the, if you get to that level of engagement, and that's what we're seeing with a lot of customers, is that since the user has the mobile with them every, yeah. all the time, and they're so used to logging into the mobile in that way, the same way they're using to the mobile banking apps, they end up, end, when they have five minutes, if it's going for a coffee or sitting on the bus or some other five minutes, uh, and, and I think one important thing is with seeing at mobile ID, we can also use the push notification to, to trigger authentication so the, the user can actually go in to the mobile banking app and check uh, transactions and things. Yeah. How can an irresistible mobile app lead to engaged customers? The key aspect here is that customer engagement comes from the user actually becoming familiar with, the, uh, with your uh, app. It comes from him interacting with it and interacting with it in a trusted way. Once he is comfortable with that interaction process and it's so frictionless that he doesn't, he basically feels that he's just opening the app and then he's interacting with it. There's, there's no kind of barriers to his interaction exactly. there. Exactly. Then you get a good amount of engagement. Of course, then the problem comes of turning that engagement into actual revenue, which is kind of a, a next step. Here. But if you're creating that engagement, you're getting a surface, an interface to the, to the customer, and by doing so, you can create actions and, and so on, and sell products. Yeah.